If you've been gaming for a long time, you may remember a little old game called Battlefield Heroes. Then again, I imagine quite a few people listening now will never have heard of it at all. What was it then? Well, Battlefield Heroes was a Battlefield game that was vastly different to any other. It released in 2009 and while it was initially developed by DICE, it was further developed by Easy Studios. At the time, EA was really pushing free-to-play games and Battlefield Heroes was just one of a number of free-to-play games that EA had on its books at the time, including FIFA World, Need for Speed Online and another Battlefield game called Battlefield Play for Free. However, in 2015, EA closed down their free-to-play titles because they simply weren't popular enough back then to keep being developed. Apart from one notable exception, Star Wars The Old Republic. It didn't start as a free-to-play game, in fact, it required a subscription each month to pay, but the free-to-play model they introduced for it eventually was fantastic for the game's longevity. In 2013, it was estimated that the game took around £140 million in addition to the income earned from the subscription model. That's a lot of money. Now, free-to-play games don't always work. Sometimes they lack quality, polish and are riddled with bugs and nasty microtransactions because for the most part, free-to-play games aren't always made by AAA devs. That being said, if you match the quality of the game with fantastic replayability and cosmetic items that players really want, then you're onto a big winner, also known as Fortnite, the most popular game in the world right now on PC and console. Okay, so this is all very interesting, but I'm sure you're wondering what are you getting at, Jack? Well, the other day I was thinking a lot about Battlefield Heroes. It's not something that I'd normally think about, but I came across some old videos of it on YouTube, and I remembered playing it back in the day, and I couldn't help but think to myself that if this game was released right now for a modern audience, and obviously it had a load of modern features, it would be super popular. Could it survive where it previously failed? Would players even want it? First, we have to remember what Battlefield Heroes actually was. At its core, it was based on the Battlefield experience of vehicle gameplay, infantry classes and the Conquest game mode, but that's where the similarities end, because it was the third person game, and not first person like every other Battlefield title, and its art style was extremely cartoony and simple. Not too dissimilar to Fortnite, in fact, I'm sure you can see in the footage. Now, this game was actually running on the Refractor engine, and that's the engine that powered Battlefield 2 and Battlefield 2142, even though the first iteration of Frostbite was powering the first Bad Company game that released the year before. So imagine a Battlefield game, but not taking itself too serious, powered by Frostbite with fun cosmetics, fun crossover events that don't have to be grounded in reality. I think that could be super popular right now. Well, that's exactly what Battlefield Heroes was in 2009, and honestly, I think that it was just way ahead of its time, but I'll get onto that in a bit. So as we've established, the game was Battlefield at heart, featuring vehicles from the World War II era and a simplified version of Conquest. In fact, the entire game was simplified in almost every area, including spawning and scoring. The game still had classes, but only three of them, Soldier, Gunner and Commando. At the time, you could also buy a currency that you could then use to buy clothing, cosmetics, weapons and emotes, among other such things. Is this beginning to remind you of anything? Now, as far as I can remember, and as I'm aware, this game was only released on PC, which honestly was a bit surprising because Heroes seems like it would have gone down a treat on game consoles. Battlefield 1943, if you remember, did release on consoles while it was a different style of game. It always seemed popular. And also with Heroes, the game tried to match you against players of equal skill where possible. If we look at how popular Fortnite is right now, I think first of all it's because it's free and you don't have to pay a thing to be competitive. But it's also got very interesting gameplay and cosmetics that players really want. Not to mention how well the game runs and also how polished it is. It just feels like a premium game wrapped up in a free to play model. Epic do a great job of releasing new cosmetics almost every week, as well as weekly challenges and new game modes that run for short periods of time. If Battlefield Heroes was to release right now, it would need to do a similar thing. First up, I think keep that cartoony style. In my opinion, that's really important because it allows you to do things that you can't do in a more serious game. 
It also helps that it attracts a younger audience. Keep the third person as well because that just makes it more accessible to more people. You'd also need weekly challenges as well as timed events and fun new content drops that didn't need to abide by the rules of a serious hardcore battlefield game. That means that you could have wacky emotes, weapon cosmetics, and it would just be a fun arcade shooter. It doesn't need to take itself too seriously because that's what the core battlefield game would be for. I think a lot of that core Fortnite audience just love how wacky and crazy it is, and I think with a game like this, you need to embrace that. You could even add, guess what, a Battle Royale mode. Now I know I know BR is all the rage at the moment, and I know that not every game needs a BR mode, but a lot of players seem to be against the core Battlefield games getting a BR mode, so perhaps this would be the perfect type of game to get one instead. A bit like Fortnite, it would just suit the style of the game. Hey, why not just do Battlefield Battle Royale? but as a standalone game and use the cartoony graphics of Battlefield Heroes. Just an idea. You could even have small crossover events between, say, Heroes and other Battlefield games or even EA games. I mean, look at Ubisoft. They do this very well with their cosmetic items in other games in their library. It's something that Rainbow Six has been doing for some time. We've seen The Predator in The Division. We've seen Sam Fisher from Splinter Cell. He's going to be in The Division soon. You've got crossover cosmetics in all of the games from Watch Dogs to Assassin's Creed. And even Far Cry 5 with the level editor, you can use assets from lots of different games in Far Cry now. If EA did a similar thing with a game like this, then just think about all the cosmetics you could have. You could get Mass Effect characters, Plants vs Zombies characters, Anthem, Yarny, all of these intellectual properties that EA has, you could incorporate them in some way into a game like this. I guess now would be a good time to say though that Battlefield Heroes was already doing a lot of the stuff that I just described, and it was doing it years ago. That's why I think it's so far ahead of its time. The fun, crazy, wacky content drops, emotes, interesting events, yep, Heroes was already doing all of that. I mentioned this earlier, but honestly, Heroes, it was just way ahead of its time. It had content that involved monsters, aliens. It really put itself out there, much like Fortnite has done over the past year. In fact, most of the stuff Fortnite is doing right now, to glorious success, Heroes was doing years ago. I just think that when Heroes was doing it, the industry just wasn't in the right place for it, and it isn't anywhere like it is now. It was ahead of the curve, but I think if a updated version of the game released right now, it would definitely be far more successful. That being said, a game like this isn't for everyone. The arcade, cartoony style will not appeal to a lot of the core Battlefield audience. They'd rather stick to their serious titles, and that's absolutely fine because this wouldn't be replacing the core Battlefield game. It would just be something that ran alongside it. They would undoubtedly have different audiences and probably different age ranges of players with some crossover here and there. The other problem is that Battlefield players are very protective of their franchise and what games get the Battlefield name. Just look at what happened with Hardline, for example. But I think that because this game would be an offshoot that would be accompanying the base game and not replacing it in the cycle, that wouldn't be an issue. EA could create an entirely new studio for a game like this. The big problem with this though, and arguably the most important question, is would it be worth it? At the end of the day, the game was only shut down in 2015 after running for six years. And so you have to ask the question, if it wasn't popular enough to stay afloat then, why would it be any different now? I have to admit, that's a tough one to answer. One thing I would mention though, is that the console market is such a huge draw nowadays, and an arcade shooter with fun visuals on the consoles that's super accessible and free to play, and an alternative to Fortnite that was polished, well, I can't help but feel like it would be extremely popular in 2018. The first time around the game didn't release on consoles, remember, and I think that that would make a big difference. And I mentioned it before too, but when Heroes came around the first time, it did a lot of things right. Things that you see in Fortnite today, even down to their content trailers, which are just funny and damn silly. I stand by the opinion that if this game released now on all platforms, it would be a huge success because timing is everything, and Battlefield Heroes was definitely ahead of its time. I think the market's in the right place for a game like this now, and it would be really interesting to see if something like this is released based off the success that all of these other publishers like EA and Ubisoft have seen with Fortnite. I haven't even mentioned the mobile market too. In 2009, mobile games were around, 
but they weren't very impressive. Nowadays you can play a game like Fortnite on your mobile phone and it's the exact same experience and game as it is on PC and the consoles. You can even cross platform. Mobile technology has come on so much. I mean look at PUBG Mobile too. That actually does things better than the core game. The Battlefield franchise doesn't have a mobile presence at all and that could be a huge new audience for Heroes that it just didn't have there in 2009. So there it is guys. Let me know your thoughts on the matter down in the comments below if you enjoyed the video give it a like thank you very much if you didn't like it then dislike it subscribe if you want to see more and i'll see you in the next one